uh, to congratulate Senator Wahome Wamatinga, the nearest senator, for always bringing uh, issues on the very serious motions. I know on a number of occasions that uh, this is an important motion. So, Speaker, ordinarily, the, the House should be full because one way or another, you'll always interact with many Kenyans who have had their assets being repossessed uh, but because of non-performing loans. So, Speaker, where the country is now economically is because we are in post-COVID recovery. Uh, I know many Kenyans, and even across the world, not only Kenya, during COVID period, many governments across the country, including Kenya, put in cautionary measures to cushion business people, business, and even they were being paid, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, therefore, the, the, uh, the reposition of movable assets by lending institutions to do that performing loans, and then performing loans is where, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, they are not able to pay. And you know, it's also like international. Kenya now is, uh, is in the international, both internal and external debt, is standing at more than 10 trillion Kenya shillings, Mr. Speaker, more than. And therefore, this public debt will continue becoming a problem. So imagine if the country was being uh, auctioned because of uh, non-payment of international debt, Mr. Speaker, or public debt, why don't we use similar strategy? Because if Kenya cannot, for example, pay to the lenders uh, that have lended this country for infrastructural projects, and even, Mr. Speaker, the declining rate of dollar also makes those loans that Kenya is being owed across the country becomes a challenge, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I think as a country, we use the same, the way we negotiate with IMF, other lending institutions, countries like China, among others, Mr. Speaker, we should also use the same strategy. And I agree with Senator Wahome Wamatinga as a parliament we have a unique role to bring in policy and legislative intervention to have renegotiation of non-performing loans, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, and therefore the non-performing loans in the last year, August 2022, Mr. Speaker, the non-performing loan was at 14 percent. In August this year, barely one year, the non-performing loan as loans across the country has increased to 15 percent. So, Mr. Speaker, we, we must amend the Banking Act to give a reprieve to many Kenyans, Mr. Speaker, because many Kenyans borrow to buy uh, 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 motorbikes, to buy small cars like Demio, Aris, and these small ones that they go to up like Bolt, like Uber, uh, like many others, Little Cup Ride, and Taxify. And you know, you remember in the last session, we really struggled because companies like Uber, among others, are, are domiciled in other countries. And you know, Mr. Speaker, I was being discussing with some Uber fellows and taxify another app of cab, cab, cab across the, the, the city that sometimes they have to switch off uh, the, 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 the app so that they can use the local rates because the domicile companies like Uber and others were not giving them good rates. So that, that is why sometimes you, you even get into an Uber, taxify, little cab, all these small uh, Ubers around in the country. Sometimes they have to switch off so that they can make money because the rates are being given. And that is why government should come in and cushion. Because these cars that they are driving, be it Demio and many other cars, Mr. Speaker, and even uh, these small cars that are being used for Uber and others, Mr. Speaker, is, is cars that they must be given opportunity to, to pay their loans, Mr. Speaker. So I agree that we must renegotiate just the way the country negotiates to give reprieve. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, and therefore the National Treasury should give us strategies to cushion uh, Kenyans, and especially young people, Mr. Speaker. And even uh, we must agree that we must be deliberate through affirmative action to give opportunity. Even we can propose that companies that uh, are owned by young people, they should be given a certain reprieve period because of non-performing loans, Mr. Speaker, and many others. On the issue of motorbikes border border, Mr. Speaker, there is this uh, company called Kenya Women. Mr. Speaker, you know where I come from? It's a village setup, uh, just like CIA, just like Vihiga. I know city senators like Senator Amida don't know these things. Our women go to, to Kenya Women or other lending institutions, Mr. Speaker. They borrow, they bring home, because of non entrepreneurship they make sure that diet changes in that family. So as a husband, you know that you start eating chapatis, you start eating nyama, 
uh, very nice things, Mr. Speaker. They call Chepe Chepe, very nice. Not knowing that is money from Kenya women. Mr. Speaker, the husband in Nisone, one morning you wake up, Kenya women with administration police appear in your place. They take away your TV. You used to watch Gerard Gay and others. They have taken away. They take away the cupboards. They take away your very good cow, which was giving good liters of milk. They take away almost everything, even sofa sets, even your bed, Mr. Speaker, where you used to make babies. So at the end of the day, Mr. Speaker, it is very, very sad, Mr. Speaker, when it comes to that. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, I want to ask the Interior Ministry. Professor Kituri Gindigi should not allow administration police to be used to, for repossession of movable assets. By these sharks, by these sharks, Mr. Speaker, the Shylock sharks, you, they go and hire administration police and police and come, take your cow, take your sofa set, take your bed, take your TV sets, even your clothes and everything. So I saw a situation where, Mr. Speaker, the lending institution even went away with the, with the roof, the, the Mabati, Mr. Speaker, the, the one, the, the roof, Mr. So Speaker, we should not allow our police to be misused by these sharks because simply they have money. They just wake up one day, take your cow, and maybe that cow, Mr. Speaker, like Kenya women, among others, they are busy repossessing, they are destroying marriages. Because by the time a, 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 a wife goes and borrows a loan with all the knowledge of the husband in our villages, it, it kills that family because after they have repossessed, there is no option but the wife to run away because now the mze or the husband is mad with the So we must call out. We must renegotiate. Non performing loans is not only unique to us or to ordinary Kenyans, it's also among Kenya as a government because it has international obligations to pay. So, Speaker, on the issue of motorbikes, I saw the other day there was what we call Mogo credit. The police tried to possess the motorbike in this city, I think it was last year or early this year. And the border border guys dealt with the with the with the mogul credit and the police. That's why I'm saying the police should not be used. Under the police act, there is nowhere Senator Tsotsi or Mr. Speaker Sir that says police officers, be it administration police or national police service or GSU, are supposed to be used to repossess any movable assets. We must start from there, Mr. Speaker. Because it's not performing. And I want to say, people like what to credit. I brought a statement in this house, Mr. Speaker. What to credit when they realize you have almost paid up to 80%, they take away your motorbike. And some of these motorbikes, Mr. Speaker, are not even owned by the motor border, border, border riders, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the, as my brothers have said, motorbike is what has, and border, border sector has stabilized the economy of many young people. It has created opportunities. For many young people, Mr. Speaker, although there are many challenges where we are blaming motor border borders, maybe because our people sometimes say there is, because of them is insecurity, but it is the most reliable form of transport. So, Speaker, if you were to come and preside over the, the, the session in the afternoon, maybe 2 30, and you are just flying in at uh, JKI and there is heavy traffic, the only option is to hop into a border border and you will be in 10, 15 minutes, you are in, within the presence of uh, us. We have been using border border, Mr. Speaker. Even in the villages, it's deficient. Our roads are pathetic. You had me complaining over the weekend in Nandi. We have so many stall uh, road projects in Nandi. You had me speaking on Friday, Mr. Speaker, to be precise. The only place can be accessed in Nandi is through motorbikes because the roads are very pathetic, Mr. Speaker. And in some of these, is the, the border borders assist us in movement of economy, growth of economy, Mr. Speaker. Even, Mr. Speaker, where roads are not passable, Border borders have been used to transport even the sick people to rush them to hospital. And it has saved many lives, Mr. Speaker. There have even situations that their roads are not passable, Mr. Speaker, where they have even been used to carry coffins of the dead because the roads are not passable, Mr. Speaker. So people like what to credit, I think the government must crack down. Mr. Speaker, because these people time, imagine, what, what reason do you have if out of 12 months you only miss one month? And you go, and I've been discussing with these border borders, they go and see this water credit or platinum credit and tell them, Mr. Speaker, this man, I was sick. I was not able to go to work. These are treatment cheats. I went to the doctor. For this one month, I was sick. And you know, border border people are exposed to cold. They get pneumonia. They become sick, Mr. Speaker. They go to this water credit, another platinum credit, another lending consult like Margo credit, and tell them, Mr. Speaker, 
I was sick in this man. Therefore, I cannot honor my loan. What is so hard for those people to understand? Does it mean they must be ruthless or heartless to so that they make an, 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 an uh, uh, devilish or an holistic profits by all extents of speaker? So this were to credit the Platinum Credit, the Mogo Credit, Kenya Women, among other this microfinance, Mr. Speaker, must be called out. And the only way to fix them, a silver bullet fixing them, Senator Oburu Odinga, is to bring an amendment to renegotiate non-performing loans, Mr. Speaker. Among the young people, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I am happy Senator Oburu Odinga is here. I don't know whether he was in the King's State Banquet. I didn't see him. But Mr. Speaker, because the king is in around, and I know Senator Oburu must be friends with the king. Okay, maybe I will ensure next time you are invited, Mr. Speaker, so that you can. I'm told Senator Oburu might be knowing each other with King Charles III and then Queen Camilla. Mr. Speaker, that is why I know even in CIA, even in Vika, even in Nyeri, most young people, they have motorbikes are being represented. Mr. Speaker, it pains me to explain this. And Senator Otsosi has put it very well. These people time when you have one to two months before you clear. And by the way, Mr. Speaker, ordinarily, a new motorbike should not go beyond 80,000. Can you believe through what to credit, platinum credit and other credit societies, you end up paying almost 300,000 for a motorbike that you can buy in cash at 80,000 shillings, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, this is a pure ripoff. How can you take and pay more than 200%? A new motorbike cash 80,000 plus. You end up paying what to credit or these other credits like Platinum, Mwago, and others. You end up paying over 300,000. What explanation? Which economy are we doing in this country? What are we supposed to be doing, Mr. Speaker? And these border borders depend on that 50 shillings, 100 shillings, 200 shillings, Mr. Speaker. I am telling you, this credit, microfinance credit like Kenya women, like uh, what to credit, like platinum, like more and other credits, it is a criminal, well-organized criminal enterprise. I don't, don't fear to say this. Where they work in cahoots with some broke police officers, with some OCSs and OCBD, and the National Police Service Commissioner, Mr. Speaker, and it is good you sit in National Security Committee, you must assist us in follow-up. There are certain OCSs and OCPD and National Police Service Commission must be aware of this. They work in cahoots with this microfinance when they are going to repossess motorbikes and resell. In fact, when they repossess, they don't even tell you, come and pay. They repossess and go and dismantle into spare parts and sell it, Mr. Speaker. And the young man, the young woman has paid, out of 10 months, he has paid 9 months. Mr. Speaker, we must protect Kenyans from this ruthlessness that we see. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, because I didn't want to speak a lot so that my colleagues can get a chance, I want to inform the House. There is what we call hustler fund. Let me put two things in straight because I've had my colleagues misleading the House. When the President campaigned, he said, he did not say, and I want to put it correct, because some of us were part of the drafting of the manifesto and the plan. I know the manifesto like the back of my hand. He said he will remove Kenyans who are CRB in then so that they can start afresh. He did not say he is banning Kenyans from being taken to CRB. So let us get our facts right. And that is what we said and it was done. Number two, we said to cushion Kenyans from these harsh economic times is to start what we call hustler fund where young men and women and business people and cooperative society, women groups, could go and borrow and start their businesses. And the Ministry of Cooperatives is doing very well. You saw even the indications, the indicators. And I want to correct this notion. The IMF, I have realized our brother Senator from Viga is a good reader of the information. But he ensures that the information he gives is good. Kenya was ranked among the best countries by IMF. International monitoring coming strongly economically in the, country, in, the, in the nation, Mr. Speaker. So the issue of Asla Fund, and I want to encourage the young people from Vega County, women from Vega County, and even from Siaya, to borrow the Hasla Fund, it is your money, go and start businesses, so that we can, uh, we can even from Nyeri, from Nandi, to borrow and start your business through the cooperative societies, Mr. Speaker, the Hasla Fund, is the only fund that you don't need to know anybody. It is you and your phone. 
You don't need to have a godfather. You don't need to have a girlfriend. You don't need to have a husband or a wife, Mr. Speaker. You don't need to have to know anybody. You don't need to say, I know so and so, so that you can borrow from the Asala fund, Mr. Speaker. So I want to correct the misnomer that was being put in the house, Mr. Speaker. We must agree as a house that, Mr. Speaker, the Hustler Fund is going to be revolutionary. All Kenyans, all young people who are watching me borrow from the Hustler Fund and your lives will be changed. In conclusion, Mr. Speaker, I agree with the prayers that we have set to review the Banking Act, to renegotiate non-performing loans, and provide cushions with Kenyans and prevent the loss of their movable assets. These assets that they have let them protect, Mr. Speaker, I want to assure the taxi drivers of Uber, Taxify, Bolt, the border border sector, that Senate will stand with you to protect you from the sharks, from the Shylock, and other unholy microfinance institutions in this country, like Watu Credit, like Platinum Credit, like Kenya Women, among other lending institutions that continue to crash, Mr. Speaker, and I wish uh, in conclusion, with a lot of due respect, that we would have used the model way of the Islamic laws of banking. We would not be where we are. If we had proposed to use Islamic bank where there is zero interest rate, Mr. Speaker, then this country would not be where. I hope when we renegotiate, we must look at the, to borrow some from Islamic bank, banking laws on how we can improve. Mr. Speaker, with so many remarks, congratulations to Tawaome Wamatinga, Wish him well. I want to see the legislative intervention when it comes to fruitation. And I invite uh, Senator Otsosi for lunch so that he can uh, see and I can share with him how the economy is doing with the experts so that he, when he appears before the floor of the House, he can be able to have a very Otsosi, what interesting... what is your point of uh, order? I finish and I support. I finish. What's your point of order, Senator Otsosi? Uh, Mr. Speaker... You know, I don't need any lectures from uh, Senator Cherege on the economy. We are feeling it. The economy is not working. 